Hi folks, I'm Craig Taylor, and as always, a huge thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel, The Bushcraft Padawan, and a very happy new year to you for 2020. Yep, that's right folks, I am publishing this video on the 1st of January 2020, so it's that time of the year when many people look forward to the coming year, they are planning what they want to achieve, they're looking at their goals, they're making New Year's resolutions, and there's nothing wrong with that, I indeed I do that myself, but I think sometimes we spend so much time looking forward to the coming year, that we don't necessarily look backwards at the year that has gone by to see what we took from it and, and what our highlights were and what we gained from it. So true to course, and I've done this for the past several years, this is a this is a happy new year video, but it's also an opportunity for me to look back at my bushcraft slash outdoor highlights of the year that was 2019. I've taken a look back then through my notebooks, through the, the, the various courses that I've attended, through my YouTube channel itself for the past 12 months, and I've come up with three, three aspects of the year, three things that happened during the year. They could have been one-off events, they could have been a series of events, a series of events that for me stick out and are at the forefront of my mind as things that were highlights of the year for me relating to bushcraft or being outdoors. So in no particular order whatsoever, here they are. Number one. Roughly this time last year, so it was the beginning to the middle of January 2019, I decided I was going to publish a weekly video on a Thursday called My Thursday's Thoughts. And <laughs> I'm quite surprised myself by managing to do that from January 2019 right up to and into September 2019. So for nine months, every week, every Thursday, I published a video and called it my Thursday's Thought video. If you've never seen these videos or you want a recap of them, I'm linking to that playlist in the top right hand corner of your screen now. They were a great opportunity for me to take what would otherwise just be throwaway thoughts and, and, and reflections that I was having in my head, able to crystallize them, get them down onto paper, or should I say onto screen, and actually think out loud about some, some, some aspects of being outdoors or bushcraft life. And it was a great opportunity to hear from you folks as well, as so many people got involved with those. I'd really hoped to run that for an entire year, like clockwork. Unfortunately, at the beginning of September, my dad got very, very ill. Um, and at the end of September, unfortunately, he died and that knocked me for the rest of the year and it's still knocking me now which is why my videos haven't been as regular as they have been for the other two and three quarter years I've been running this channel but for me it was a great accomplishment to to, to record a video every single Thursday as well as my normal weekly videos and push them out under this banner of my Thursday's thoughts video so that was a highlight for me. Highlight number two of the year was me attending the Intermediate Wilderness Bushcraft course with Paul Kirtley and the team from Frontier Bushcraft. I've attended a face-to-face -face field course with Paul now for the past, I don't know, three or four years, I can't remember which, and every single year it just raises the barrier more and more. For me, the, the, the reason that was one of the highlights of my year was that it allowed me to, to take some skills that I'd only ever tinkered with in the past or even skills that I was just aware of but had never never had the time or the focus or the energy or the space to actually do anything with and I was able to throw myself into that course for a week so you know it was a real focused period of time where I had nothing else to do or occupy my thoughts for those six days than really buckle down knuckle down and get stuck into some good tough um, rewarding physical um, bushcraft skills for a, for a consolidated period of time. And I think any time I get the opportunity to do that, it's gonna stick in my head and it's gonna become a highlight of that year. Hoping to do that this coming year in 2020 as well. So there was another highlight. 
And finally, my third and final bushcraft slash outdoorsy highlight of the year was um, a simple family holiday. We took the family away, myself, Mrs. T, kids, the dog, Willow. Um, we all went to Capel Keurig, which is in North Wales. We got an Airbnb. We spent a week, week to the day, outdoors um, in Capel Keurig, living out of an Airbnb cottage, spending a lot of time um, out on the hills, walking, exploring the coastline, just doing some great sort of outdoorsy stuff in North Wales. It was great to see the kids in a different environment for a week. It was wonderful to take them up Snowdon for the first time in, in what was pretty miserable conditions. It was wet, it was windy, it was misty. I did not expect an 11 and a nine year old to make it all the way to the top, let alone back down to the bottom again. But they did it with bells and whistles on. I was incredibly proud of them that week. Um, and yeah, I think they, well, I know they enjoyed it as well, as much as I did. And it led to um, myself and the wife putting the house on the market where we live now in the south of England and looking to relocate up to North Wales itself. So had a real, had a real positive effect on me. Um, hence the reason it sticks in my head as being a highlight of the year. So there we have it, my Thursday's thought videos, my week away doing the intermediate bushcraft course with Paul Kirtley and his team, and me spending a week away with the family in North Wales, spending some good quality outdoors time together. All sum up to be uh, the three most memorable highlights of the year for me. Those were my highlights of 2019 from a bushcraft and an outdoorsy type perspective. But what were yours? What sticks in what sticks in your head, either for positive reasons, or maybe maybe it sticks in your head and was memorable and was a highlight because it wasn't a great experience. Maybe something went wrong that sort of really sticks with you. As always, let me know in the comments below. Once again, a huge, huge happy new year for 2020 from me here at Taylor Towers. Hope to see more of you throughout 2020. Certainly hope to get back to regularly uploading videos again. Like I said earlier on in the video, um, it's, I've not found it as easy over the past few months as I used to do, I think for, for obvious reasons, but hopefully start of a new year start some new beginnings and, and maybe we can uh, maybe we can get back into the swing of things again i'm waffling now if you're a subscriber thank you happy new year if you're not still happy new year but why not become a subscriber by clicking on that red button that's in the bottom right on corner of your screen right now wherever you are whenever you are whoever you are have a great 2020 thanks for watching cheers